Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come in, come in, come in. This is Tamika's Den. I'm Tamika. Get on in here, y'all. Get on in here. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. You are now in the den. So, guys, this is my review recap. Power Book for Force. Okay. No Loose Ends. Season 2, Episode 9. Y'all, okay, grandma is up out of here. Grandma is up and smoking, literally. I was not expecting them to blow grandma up. I said, no, I believe that, no, blah, blah, no, no, no. What the hell is going on? All right, we got an enemy, okay, amongst us, a snake, all right? A low down dirty dog. We also got a rat. And we know Tommy can't stand no damn rats. And he going to give Vic a demonstration of what he do to rats. All the while he chilling with Vic. Who is the rat? Okay. One of them anyway. So, child, do y'all think Vic going to get take out, taken out? Put it in the comments. Let me know. Is Vic making it out? He seems to be able to weasel his way out of everything that he gets into. What is your idea? What do you think he will do to weasel out of this one? Okay. Speaking of child people weaseling out, Claudia asks, keep rising to the top. All right. She's becoming untouchable and I'm sick of it, power. All right. Get Claudia off my damn screen. I'm so freaking sick of this girl. Always finding a way to get through and make it by and get the bag and have somebody else bring her more money and whoop de whoop de whoop. No, child. Okay, get her out of here. Get Murkovich out of here. He another damn one that seems to be able to always escape, always make his way, always got another underground route that he could damn take. Okay, we got Diamond over here taking Jamal. Okay, Leon Daddy down by the riverside. Child, he up here swimming with the fishes now, okay? Jamal, you should have kept your damn mouth shut, okay? Meanwhile, you know, Jamal got that smile on his face just like Tommy did. His brother is back, okay? We reunited and it feels so good. We are super happy to have this connection back and be brothers, honey. But not so fast because Shanti said Diamond got to go too, boo. And I don't think that's going to fly, Miss Shanti. Okay, I think you're taking it a step too far. We said Tommy. We didn't say a damn thing about Diamond, all right? So, child, we also got Z-Mac in the building. Z-Mac over here trying to turn up on freaking, um, you know, his daddy and make him feel all bad or whatever. Are oh, you leaving me again for the second time? And he fell for that damn okie doke. D-Mac, if you don't go sit your behind down somewhere, now, of course, Diamond going to find out he back in the mix. And we know what that's going to make me do, girl. We all know, right? We all on the same page. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into this episode. Break it on down. Take it from the top. You know how we do. This is just going to be my quick thoughts on what's down in the episode, y'all. We see Diamond and Tommy basically taking care of business. And we are also talking about, we know it's a rat up in here okay who is it yo i'm thinking it's damn on janard zama said nah my brother ain't no damn rat okay he a lot of things he a pain on him behind he was on that h he was sniffing that cocoa okay and he could get low low but one thing he don't do no matter what is rat okay so now he like and what about you know vic Oh, nah, Tommy talking about it ain't Vic. He ain't down with that. I see him take a fed out in front of my face. He clean. All right, well, we going to do some things, and we going to get to the bottom of this and figure out who it is. I said, y'all need to because y'all seem to be five steps behind on this. Now, in the meantime, in between time, Stacey Marks is still annoying the hell up out of me, child. Why did we get this dry-ass sex scene with them, Lord? I'm skipping to the part, which I know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, she was out here still being dirty. And her husband, you know, he had to turn up on her and say, look, I'm tired of your shenanigans. That mess you pulled, it was out of order. If you keep going on that way, I'm going to have to step up and I'm going to have to let them know what you're doing out here in these streets. You're not going to use Vargas' death as an excuse. I'm done with this. She basically laughed in his face and said, I wish you would. Okay, sucker, what you going to do? All right. And so he was like, wow, that's what it's come to. This is who you become. I don't even know you. When you look in the mirror, do you even recognize yourself? You trifling. All right. I said, yeah. She is DeFranco. And I said, stand up. Stand up, DeFranco. But did he stand up? No, he didn't. Okay. He was just standing there when she said either get on board or move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way. I said, get out the way. I said, okay, Stacy. All right, girl. We see you. Now, child. He was like, this is changing us. This is destroying our relationship. Is that what you want, child? Stacy just looked at him like, uh... 
what you going to do about it, okay? And he said, oh, I see how it goes. I said, well, I'm glad you do see how it goes, DeFranco. What you going to do about it, okay? Because I was expecting more from you than this, all right? It's giving me very much weak. Now, anyway... Moving on from that, Janar comes in and checks on Diamond or whatever. And he's like, did Tommy send you? Because he's like, yo, I want to check on you. I heard what happened with little man. I know how close y'all was. He like, I'm good. You know, he like, nah, seriously, anything you need, I'm here for you. And Diamond's like, I said I was good. So he's basically like, well, you know what it is? Something you could do for me. You could go find out who the hell it was that took out my boy, Leon. Okay, so I can go ahead and take their asses out. And Janar is like, all right, I got you on that, right? And trust and believe like i said bro i'm 100 here with you i'm down anything you need i got your back that's what brothers is for now we get all over here child to abuela and abuela of course is still dropping gems to miguel still telling him he been on some bullshit he needs to get it together and so he's like don't worry i'm 10 steps ahead of you ain't nobody else gonna be playing with me i'm already on it i got diamond coming through and she like why diamond he like because him i could still make some moves with okay and you know she's saying now that the serbs is gonna be out of the play Che will have no choice but to make him a distributor. And he like, yeah, and after he do that, we gonna have to get Tommy Egan up out of here. And freaking Maria is said, do 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 What? Okay, not Tommy, not my Tommy. So now she gotta get up and she gotta go. And you know, Miguel over here trying to tell her how he need a shot. She said, Child shot my ass. Okay, my job just paged me. 911 is an emergency. I gotta go ahead and get to work. I will see y'all later. You know, he over here worried about give me a kiss before you go. What about me? Now, child, she running off to get to Tommy or whatever, right? In the meantime, Claudia raggedy behind, child, walks in, you know, just so happens to conveniently put herself in the mix of the Serbs meeting with this new daggone distributor, okay, that's coming in from Detroit, okay, bringing them that stuff from the D. And now she's trying to keep freaking making her way of course getting a deal in for herself even though she ain't got no money and she making promises that she can't keep but it's claudia so it's all gonna damn work out for her anyway right and he's talking about all right don't play no games because if you can't you know put up where you need to shut up it's gonna be a problem but she says you know she down with it and he's telling her that he take the challenge she liked the challenge and he gonna see what she could do he like her and she could stay because that first milk of was trying to get her ass up out of there child okay but she sit down and she over here making this deal and of course when she go and tell shanti shanti is like yo what the hell are you doing like how are you stepping over here making deals yet again without freaking talking to her whatever right and how are you gonna come up with that when you don't got the money but claudie okay got her girlfriend that is saying she would be able to bring something through and she tried to think she was gonna pop off at shanti and shanti was like hold up wait a minute okay if you don't shut the hell up trick but she was like nah i got the funds and you know stop calling me out my name put some respect on my name because i could come through and i could bring the money that y'all need boo now tommy and them is over here tommy done stepped it up okay he's on it he's flipping these phones changing these phones he said throw all them phones in the bag y'all getting new phones at first janard was trying to say like nah my girl don't be playing that she gonna think of some funny shit if i keep coming in with phones and tommy of course already giving him the side eye because he want any damn excuse but then when they broke it down it was like the feds is on us all right we are hotter than a pot on a damn stole you know he said well y'all should have just led with that and they start giving up all the phones and of course tommy really wants these phones so that he could go ahead and have jenny sue check them out so we could find out who this snitch is all right we need to find this damn rat asap but you know once janard was like well damn you should have led with that and basically gave them the phones then tommy seemed to kind of calm down off of him and of course you know um diamond reiterate see i told you janard ain't no damn snitch now over here at stacy marks we actually trying to do stuff legit now we want to know what's going on what's going down we want to get some type of surveillance in tommy apartment but tommy making it harder because baby he done put up some freaking new surveillance all around the buildings all around the street okay he's clocking y'all he on y'all y'all can't even tap into these he's on another damn level and we like damn we can't hack it we don't got time for that what up 
else could we do? So what's the small idea that DeFranco gonna give freaking Stacy child instead of him him shutting her ass down? He helping lift her up and drag this shit out even longer. He says, "Well, why don't we give it to Vic for him to put it in the damn house?" I said, "Child, Vic, you better run for your life, baby, because they gonna get you killed, okay? But I think you deserve it anyway, so I ain't even worried about it. But if you were smart, baby, I'd have been gone." Now, Diamond, I don't know why, is still running over here knocking at this damn lady dog, child, okay? Apparently, to give her some magazines and sneakers of Leon that was still at the freaking barbershop. I said, you could have left that outside, Diamond. You know, she coming, of course, looking all out of it, and she start crying. He's saying, I'm sorry, and here comes Jamal. You know, you got what's going to come to you, and you'll find out, you know, Diamond asking him what that means. And now, you dummy, you done told on yourself and that you're the person that told the parole officer when it went down. So your days is numbered. You know, Maria come over. Of course, she's feeling just all kind of mixed emotions between having Stacy show up at her door and now hearing Miguel, you know, saying that he want to take him out. She's there and she's asking, who's Lakeisha? Okay, who the hell is Lakeisha? And Tommy starts getting emotional. Where you heard that name from? Oh, you know, I long time was supposed to marry her, but she wasn't about that life. It wasn't meant to be. That was my baby. Okay. And so... She talking about, I'm sorry, and he like, yeah, I'm sorry, too. So, nonetheless, you know, she starts to tell him about what her brother got planned, child, and how he going to take him out, and he like, I wish he would. And, of course, she's like, I got to choose between me and, you know, you and my brother, and I don't want to do that, okay? I care about my brother, and I love you, too, Tommy. Uh, she ain't say that to when she was in her sleep, but that's what it boils you down to. She basically chose Tommy over her brother, period, okay, by coming here and telling him all of this, and so... Yeah, Tommy, of course, is like, you're going to have to stay here. I'm going to have to keep an eye on you. I'm going to have to make sure everything is okay with you because, you know, there's a lot going on and you ain't got to worry about me. You know, this is just the beginning of everything. I got it under control. You know, um, I'm, I'm tired of these damn feds. They doing too much. They testing me or whatever the case may be, right? I'm not going to have the same situation that happened with Lakeisha. And so... You know, she's like, this whole thing between you and Miguel is just driving me damn crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, Tommy was like, you know, you doing the right thing, right? I said, I don't know, child, okay? I don't know. But she did say, if he wants you dead, then F him. I want you alive. I said, Maria, so how the hell that's going to work out, girl, okay? And so... You know, basically, she was telling him she wasn't going to let him go. And then we all kissy, 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 poo. Now, Diamond come all over. And the bottom line is, you know, Miguel is saying, how much do you really like Tommy? Because me and you could keep moving. We could do business and everything could be good. But Tommy, he got to go. He's a liability. So, you know what I'm saying? If you <laughs> really cared about him, I suggest you let go of those feelings. Because it's going to be time for him to go bye-bye. Now, in the meantime, we kept waiting for Nunez to come back with the car because Grandma was saying she wanted to use it, child. Grandma walked out to that car, and that car said, boom. Goodbye, damn Grandma. Now, of course, Miguel is pissed off. They all go running out here, and Grandma is ashes to ashes, dust to dust, okay? Now, you know... Um, Claudie damn friend has said she was going to get her the money or whatever. And Jannard comes back, you know, again, and he's talking to Shanti. She's giving him the update on everything that's going on. And then she start asking, well, what's going on with Diamond? Because maybe we could use that against him if he's being weak. And he like, nah, actually, he being stronger than I've seen him in a long time. He's on point. And, you know, she starts talking about how we might have to go ahead and, you know, step things up because he going to have to go too. And he was like, well, why would he have to go? It could be all three of us and we just get damn Tommy out the way, you know. And she talking about some, oh, no, 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 ain't no damn three. You know, he got to go too or whatever. So he basically like, you know, he's the one that got me back in CBI. Baby, why did he say that? Because she was like, oh, I got you back in CBI. So he starts to say to her, look, you ain't the only one one that's thinking of different moves you know we gotta move strategic like you were saying before whatever i'm using this to our advantage you ain't the only mother you know that's thinking about things or whatever like slow your road calm down girl you've been doing too much what's going on with you lately so then she gonna talk about let's change the subject we got other issues and she starts telling him about the marquez cartel and he like get the hell out of here she like nah she really in with that 
So he was like, damn, this bitch making moves fast. I said, ain't she? So he like, I don't know, babe, that's going to be an even um worse situation. Maybe we chose the wrong horse. She said, nah, we chose the right horse. And of course, you know, she's saying we going to hobble her. We going to make sure that she don't finish the race. I said, all right, now get her ass out of here. Please, somebody do that. Okay. And Janard basically was like, he's with that. Now she goes and of course updates Tommy on this whole thing. And he was like, damn, them freaking serves are right. They always freaking find a way around stuff. So he like, all right, does Claudia got the cash and she was like nah but her you know girl elisa is saying she could get it or whatever and she's gonna become untouchable as soon as she gets down with the cartel so that got her thinking that they should cut her to her knees but tommy is basically like nah not yet okay we gonna have this do a slow burn you gonna tell her that you in you know and he was like what's the play and she letting him know you know what the hell they're supposed to be doing so he, she was like i can't have the streets find out that i'm messing with both of y'all at the same time so tommy got an answer for that he's basically like okay well then you tell them you ain't messing with me you ain't a part of cbi no more now she really screwing her face up but he's saying we gotta make everybody think that we against each other and then when it's the time you know i'm gonna let you know i'm gonna fill you in and we gonna get on top of shit and he like here this is for you he basically gives her the burner phone because mind you all this time he's still thinking that some kind of way he's gonna end up finding out that is janard that is basically the snitch or either her since she's connected to janard now vic finds out what they want him to do with this wire and he of course is oh no what are y'all talking about i don't know about all of that and they telling him don't worry you know he got it he could put it anywhere in the damn apartment and his dumb ass still going along with it tommy show up at the funeral child i so Tommy got all the freaking balls in the world. I'm telling you. He over here. Oh, yeah. When Miguel is like, and do you know my sister? Oh, right. Maria. Yes, I remember y'all and my condolences. And then he goes up to Chi. You know, oh, my condolences. I'm so sorry. And yeah, by the way, you know, um, I just wanted to introduce you to Diamond. This is um, my business partner, the one that's been helping me so much or whatever. And our condolences on your loss or whatever. And I also thought that we should take Merkovich out since what he did. And so Che is like, nah, we good on that. And first of all, this is a, not a place, you know, to talk about this or whatever look around we're actually grieving and we're mourning abelita you know business could wait so i said okay che i respect it like business didn't need to wait when we was at the party but now that we at the funeral we do and tommy's still talking about some well we out of time we gotta move fast because the Marquez cartel is involved into this too. And apparently the Serbs is in bed with him. So we got to move the quicker the better. And, you know, Chase says again, you're overstepping Egan. Okay. He coming with a whole different energy than he was at the party. This is a personal matter. And I already told Miguel that it's his kill. I already gave that green light. Okay. So I respect your hustle, but get the hell up out of my face. And Tommy's like, okay, cool. No problem. You know, condolences again. So when they get outside, Diamond, like, yo, what the hell is wrong with you? Why? Why would you be playing games like this but of course tommy says i got a plan we gonna make it look like you know miguel messed up the hit or whatever the case may be we gonna be the one to take out the serves and then Che gonna go ahead and give us the hookup right now when diamond get back to the shop honey we got people that searching this damn shop we got a lady that's saying look the damn parole officer was taking notes. He said the last place he was coming was here. And why would he even be coming here late? Diamond said, I don't know, lady. You got to ask him that. Yeah, he did stop by, whatever the case may be, because he thought I was slipping back into things. And she said, so wait, on the one hand, he was just putting you up for early par you know, parole release and praising you and on the other hand he thought you got back dirty but then he just left and he just disappeared i'm supposed to believe that he like believe whatever you want to believe you know janard walks in at this point and she's like is there anybody else that can corroborate this story and janard is like yeah me okay i'm his brother and he was with me whatever the case may be we didn't see anything else so then she say you know for them and all the people that was in there with her to go ahead and get the hell up out of here. You know, Janard lets him know that he found Jamal and he like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Let's get to it. Now, of course, Maria comes here to confide in them. You know, Tommy again, now that grandma's out of here and saying, how the hell could somebody get a bomb in the car? And we remember that Nunez was the one that dropped the car off. And of course, Tommy's like, do, 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 do. Okay, light bulb boom. We gonna think about it and figure it out now. Janard and freaking, um, child, <laughs> Janard and Tommy come and bring, you know, Jamal over here, drag him up. 
Janal was about to take him out. He was like, nah, this is mine, right? And he over here telling Diamond how it was his fault that all this happened. And he's like, nah, it's your fault or whatever. You couldn't see past your punk ass self. You know what your son's last words was to me? You know that my daddy never thought that I could be anything. And then he's over here trying to say he damn sorry. And Diamond said, yeah, damn sorry. It's too little too late, you know. It was funny as hell because Janard tried to help him when he was drowning him and Zaman turned around and was like get off me nigga okay and he drowned him himself and the biggest smile came on damn Janard face he said oh shit okay Zaman's back in the building bitch he sure is now over at Tommy house here come freaking Vic and Tommy's like I gotta go to the bathroom he come run, go running in the bathroom leaves to, um Vic rather just the right time to put that damn bug underneath Tommy table. He over here grabbing a knife and saying, you'll see, okay, we getting in this car and we going and we talking about rats and how much we hate them. And if you don't know, now you know I'm about to show you. And of course, you know, they leaving and Vic looking all nervous thinking that Tommy about to slit his damn throat. Now, <clears throat> the school called and told them, um, <sighs> JP. That D-Mac had got beat up at school and they don't know where he at. He disappeared. So, of course, he knows to go to the damn Marshall house, all right? And in the meantime, Kate was still drinking because he found a whole bunch of damn bottles she had there. And she knocked out on the couch and he knocking at Marshall's door like, I know you in there. And D-Mac proceeds to curse at him out, telling him how he never was for him. He left him when it came to his mama. He let Tommy kick him out. None of them care about him. Talking about, look at me. I'm all bruised up. I ain't seen no damn bruises saying he getting beat up there. Meanwhile, the lady said he beat the crap out of somebody up at the school. Gave him this whole song and dance and then just sat back down the class, you know, on the couch talking about, I don't want to hear your sorries. Just fight for me. So, of course, this don't went to JP head and he go home to cry and freaking Kate damn shoulders, you know. Tommy and Vic go over here by Murkovich and they end up seeing Nunez getting out the car and they like, wait a minute, ain't that one of Murkovich guys? It sure the hell is. So the next thing you know, Tommy about to chop his damn, you know, tattoo off the back of his freaking head, beating the mess out of him, cutting him the hell up. And he starts singing like a damn bird and singing how they supposed to come to Murkovich at 7 and it's 6.58. So lo and behold, of course, they call him and in the nick of damn time, ain't nobody get hit but five nobodies that we ain't none of us damn know and Murkovich is able to go through some freaking side door down the damn stairs and out the door wasn't nobody waiting on the sides in the back or anywhere they just was able to freaking escape yet again so this of course was a furled hit for Miguel yet again okay then Claudie girl bring her this bag of money and talking about girl I loved you ever since we was in some grade and I gave you a damn kiss I would do anything for you so now we got freaking Claudia sitting on top of the world, top of the world, top of the world. Ugh, child. Now, Tommy go ahead and drag Nunez raggedy behind in and was like, yo, you know, this is the one that was ratting, okay? I found out that he was over here giving Murkovich and them information and he the one that blew your damn grandmother up, okay? And he planted the damn bomb. So Che is like, how the hell this white boy knew what time it was and was able to pick up on a rat but you the hell wasn't, okay? Yeah. And, um, you know, Tommy, like, I just was trying to help y'all out. Is this slimy, you know, MF? He was the enemy the whole time or whatever the case may be. And so Che basically told Tommy, you know, we'll handle this. This is in-house business. And Tommy said, say no more and went home, right? And, of course, when he come in, he over here telling Maria is handled. You know, everything is all to the good now. No, not knowing he being recorded and damn... You know, Stacy over here smiling, sipping her freaking coffee, talking about what you think is good now, whatever. And her husband talking about he get turned on by her doing things legitimate and want to throw her up on the damn desk. I said, child, if y'all don't get the hell up out of here. Meanwhile, Maria telling Tommy she love him in his sleep and he over here pushing back her hair and giving her a damn kiss. So now we go. And we have Janard and Diamond talking again where he's like, yo, you got to stop investing all your you know, energy and your belief into this white boy. He ain't all the way there the way you think he is. He's there for himself. Whereas when it's me and you, we're there for each other because we're brothers no matter what. I'm just saying, D, okay? I'm just trying to throw it out there. You can listen or you cannot listen, right? And so he's always looking ahead, but I got your back. 
And then we like, well, whatever happened with that situation? Did you find out, you know, who this was that took out Leon or, Leon or not? I thought you said he didn't have no connections. Yeah, not directly, okay? He ain't got it directly, but he is untouchable. So you can't do nothing because then this whole coalition that you put together would basically fall apart. Everything would be messed up if you do because he's actually one of the major players. And then Zaman is like, well, who the hell is it? You know what I'm saying? Because if that player drops out, then everything going to be messed up. And so, child, we find out that is no, none other than King Kilo, damn nephew. I said, damn, damn, damn. Because we know, you know, Diamond might still have to do what he got to do. Now, Jenny Sue got these numbers out and she got Tommy looking over them. And he like, are you sure is this one? It's not this one. Because he just wanted to be either Janard or Shanti so bad. And she said, no, boo, I know what I'm doing. I know my damn job, okay, is this one. And I said, who, bitch, who, bitch? Because we know who it is, but I want to know if Tommy. Tommy finally know who it is because I felt like it took Tom, Tommy too, way too long to damn catch on, okay? So, she said, yeah, this one. He said, oh, let me borrow your car. So, we get over here to dumbass Vic sitting out in the public with Stacey Marks once again. Oh, yeah, the wire's going good. We getting what I need, what we need. And, you know, Vic like, okay, so then how much longer is this going to be before I can get the hell up out of here? When y'all going to put me in witness possession? Oh, it, you know, it's going to take your time with these things, all right? We'll get there eventually. Just be patient. I said, it's funny she's telling him to be patient when she couldn't be damn patient. So, he go ahead and was like, yeah, patience my ass, all right? Go F yourself and get out the damn car to walk away and who's sitting there with that but Tommy I said bitch he knows it's you Vic he knew it was you Vic <laughs> you disappointed me Vic <laughs> So what y'all think, y'all? What did y'all think about this episode? What do you rate this episode? You know, let me know all that good stuff. What you liked, what you didn't like. Put it in the comments. Anything that I left out, put that in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. If you are so inclined, give me a wave. Let me know you came by. Put some flames up in the sky. Tommy ought to be on you like white on rice, Vic. Nah. All right, y'all. Too little.